Hi Physics fam! We are going to be doing an angled projectile and just for this first part we're going to determine the time of flight. Um, the question does ask for other pieces but we're going to highlight that in separate videos. So we have this football kicked with an initial velocity of 25 meters per second at an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal. We can go ahead and put in all the information that we know. We have our initial x position is going to be 0 meters, same thing with our initial y position. We don't know anything about our final x position, but we do know that our final y position is going to be 0 meters as well, because we are starting and ending on the ground. Our acceleration in the x direction, as usual, is 0 meters per second squared, and in the y direction, negative 9.8 meters per second squared, our acceleration due to gravity. Um, our initial x velocity and our initial y velocity can be found using trig. So we can break this resultant vector or overall velocity into two components, our x and our y. So the horizontal is our initial x and the vertical is our initial y. So we can go through and solve for our initial x velocity by looking at um, taking our overall velocity and multiplying it by cosine of our angle, which is 45 degrees. So when we do that, we have an initial x velocity of 17.7 meters per second. We can throw that into our chart as well. And then our initial y velocity is going to use sine. So we have 25 times sine of 45. And when we look at cosine and sine of 45 degrees, we're going to end up with the same values there. So we can go ahead and plug that in as well. Now that's not going to be the case for all angles. We just happen to pick a nice one. So from here, we can also fill in that our final x velocity is going to be 17.7 meters per second as well because we have an acceleration of zero which means our velocity is going to be constant. So that's all we have right now. We are solving for our time and we know that time is dependent on our y information. So we can go ahead and look at all the information in the y direction and see if we have enough and we do. So we're going to use our long equation y equals y initial plus initial y velocity times time plus one half a y t squared. So both of our positions are going to be zero, which is nice. Our initial y velocity is 17.7 .7 meters per second, and we're multiplying that by t. And then we have one half our negative 9.8 times t squared. So we can simplify that. I'm going to go ahead and move this term to the other side. So we'll have 4.9t squared on the left and 17.7t on the right. We have a t on both sides, so we're going to go ahead and cancel it out. So now we're left with 4.9t equals 17.7. So we'll go ahead and divide by 4.9 on both sides, and we end up with a time of 3.61 seconds in the air. And that's how we can go through and solve for the time of flight or hang time of the football.